सो वेलकम ऑल सो दिस इज न्यू वन ऑफ माय सर एज सजेस्टेड मी फॉर टू टेक अ लेक्चर ऑन दिस आर आर बी ए एल पी सो आई हैव स्टार्टेड दिस द रेलवे एग्जाम एग्जामिनेशन राइट सो इन दैट आई विल इन दैट वी विल सी फर्स्ट बेसिक इंजीनियरिंग साइंस basic science and engineering we will see in the today's lecture i will discuss about the introduction part okay so so <clears throat> before starting the lecture i would like to request you guys please hit the like button uh, share with your friends and subscribe the channel right so this is a very basic science and engineering which i am going to start i will explain all the things everything about syllabus Uh, what it includes, what it ALP, RRB, right? Everything I will explain you it in in detail. So, so these are the very simple topics. But see, uh, students at the junior level they are not uh, bother about this. Okay, so please watch the lectures till the end. Okay, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Okay, so so today's session is we will look into the see syllabus and units and measurements in this we will look in the today's session. So what? the syllabus will be so see alp means assistant logo pilot right which is one of the exam conducted by railway right so in this alp technician there are cbt1 and cbt2 okay <sighs> let me delete this it is not right in cbt1 and cbt2 right so Uh, so in CBT two again, see ALP technician CBT two in part A, right? This is a part A. In part A, uh, the syllabus concerned is that is maths, reasoning, general aptitude, and this BSE. So in this session, we are or or the lecture of series, I will take on this, right? The BSE part that is uh, basic science and engineering. This subject I will deal with. Now we will see in that. basic engineering and science there are again further many topics are there right the, the mainly topics which i have written here okay first one is engineering which is the main topic then next uh, units and measurements in the today's topic we will see this that is units and measurements we will see it in detail uh, the third is heat and temperature which is related to thermodynamics more that also we will try to cover in this basic science and engineering okay in the lecture short series let me see whether video is recording yes it's a recording no problem okay okay it it literacy right the all basic electricity work energy power in detail see this is very related to engineering that is engineering mechanics subject that is work energy power which is more related to physics right so we will see it in detail work power and energy what is that everything we will see it literacy uh, occupational safety like this topics we will try to cover okay these are the main topics right which are uh included in the syllabus of this basic science and engineering so let's see first the, we'll start from this first topic which is that this is this is a, the, means here i have written see the engineering rank carries uh, weightage carries more marks okay i'll take it later so the units and measurements will start first okay then which is a very basics and we'll start with that so the units and <coughs> measurements they are, see the physical there are See, these are the physical quantities: length, mass, and time. Right? Why it is called physical quantities? See, I have this mobile, right? So, because see, I, this is what the physical mobile, right, in front of me right now. So, why it is called with physical? So, I can measure the length, right, mass, right, and also the time I can measure. So, this is what the physical quantities, right? So. so this is about so if see uh, uh, i will give you example of which are not not physical quantity also see the smell suppose smell smell is a physical quantity can we measure that no right like that so this is what the physical quantity so we can measure the length size width height everything we can measure right so it is called the physical quantity right you understood so now here the physical quantities are length mass time right so so these are the three physical quantities so now there are many types of the units right so so units are units may be of mks cgs or fps right these are the three 
systems where whether the units are classified okay see in the mks length these are the units just now we have seen right uh, which these are the units where is that just meant yes these are three units right so so in the type of units right it is a mks cgs fps right so we will see it full form also in detail it is a metric right it is a send as uh, see in the mks the meter right kilogram and second so it is called meter kilogram second mks cgs file cgs send, length is measured in centimeter mass measured in gram and time is measured in seconds right fps length is measured in foot right pound fps foot pound second like this three units are defined okay so uh, this is how the mks cgs and length is length is length is in meter right in cgs length we will measure in centimeter in fps we will measure the length in foot right so there is a conversion also but see uh, there is a little bit uh, uh, there is a conflict between this all uh, suppose one country is measuring this meter uh, meter has different okay one country is measuring foot uh, again other country measuring it in centimeter so there is a little bit difficulty to understand this that's why there is one standard units defined that is called uh, SI units right that is a international units right Inter international standards right this is what the unit classified so according to SI unit there are uh, fundamental units and supplementary units there are seven fundamental units and two supplementary units okay so uh, now in the see I no need to explain more me because the slide itself uh, uh, clarifies uh, many more things that's why it uh, not required to at all right to explain me everything okay even though looking at your slides also you can easily understand everything okay so now now in fundamental SI system right so so SI system there are supplementary SI system and fundamental SI system also so uh, length right length is measured in the unit for the length is meter and symbol is m right these are the seven fundamental assignments that is length mass time intensity of light current amount of substance and temperature right so see the amount of substance is measured in moles right current is ampere i intensity of light that is candela cd time second length is in meter mass is, so this this is what the standard means in this is internationally accepted okay whenever you talk about it okay i can't talk about the centimeter like this right so i have to talk with meters convert from even though the the available data is with me is in a centimeter so i need to convert it from how we will convert that that thing also we will see in our upcoming slides okay so the kilogram is a, also in si unit right so rest other things are the gram is not in si unit right so the kilogram is si unit so so we, along with this fundamental uh, seven units right there are two supplementary units okay for the plane angle and for the plane angle and solid angle okay for the plane angle it is a, a, a radian and for the solid angle it is a stradian plane means suppose uh, if i talk see here this is suppose i have to measure this angle right so this is you know this is 90 degrees right so this is what about the plane angle right and the solid angle how it looks so suppose i have a cone like this right i have to measure the volume of this cone right so to in order to measure the volume of this cone it comes in stradian just means i'll come back Sorry. okay these are the two supplementary units and other are fundamental units means total how many units are there seven plus two there are nine units right which are standard or rather we can say it as a fundamental okay so so next you understood this how i have to measure this volume of this q volume of this cone right so this the cone has right so so the volume that is right volume or any other or suppose see uh, this is related to angle not related to volume right so i have to need, need the angle right see here how much angle it is subtended as it is a 3d figure okay so i will measure this 
the way for the plane angle I will measure the 90 degree here similarly here for the solid angle we will use the straight angle to, in order to measure this see whether my cone is like this right there is a big cone like that right so that's why I have to use like that now I will I have one question in front of you now what the internal unit of the temperature okay see the internal unit of the temperature is in Kelvin okay this is a this is very important so the answer, so the answer is Kelvin right uh, unit of temperature okay see see don't don't see this okay this this is something I have not I have I think I taken copy paste from the previous okay the internal unit of the temperature is in Kelvin Kelvin okay so the next that is C yeah now the next is from the kilometer to hectometer from hectometer to decameter now see I need to see that the data is given to the from one see there are three units we, as we have already seen right but for SI units there is a requirement of only the only one unit right which is in SI unit the kilometer is um, the meter is measured in SI unit so if the if I have data in kilometer I have to convert it from hectometer right I have to multiply it by 10 right so if from the hectometer I have to deca I have to multiply again it by 10 right similarly I have to convert from decameter to meter I have to multiply by 10 similarly here from meter to decimeter I have to multiply by 10 again similarly here also the same thing I have to do right so here also I have to multiply by 10 and I have to convert accordingly right this is how the conversion takes place okay now the SI prefixes right this uh, is internal system prefixes are <coughs> see for the 10 raised to 15 beta that is a p symbol is used for 10 raised to 12 tera that is t is used <coughs> 10 raised to 9 giga g is usually right so the 10 for deca right h for hecta deca kilo like this the prefixes are usually suppose i have to write uh, see I, I i will not i have to write one lakh right one lakh is right this is one lakh right so what i will do i will write simply 1 into 10 raised to 5 right this is the conversion okay if i multiply this so so the so here in the si system the prefix is this is what the <coughs> the multiple right rather i will the prefix i will write that is uh, <coughs> one uh, see here the lack not comes under here right so what i will do here i will write it uh, 10 raised to 3 right 10 raised to 3 right into Oh, in 100 sorry huh, yes 100 into 10, 10 raised to 3 like this or or I will convert this as 100 kilo write this right so so if it is kilo then it is 100 into 10 raised to 3 like this prefix comes you understood this right this is very simple right this is a very basics so the units of the length <coughs> so the conversion that is a 12 inches 12 inches equal to 1 foot 3 feet is equal to 1 yard right Mm, 36 inches is equal to 1 yard see here uh, if you multiply by 12 into 3 then it will get 36 right so it will convert to yard 1 yard so 50, 52 80 feet equal to 1 mile 17 to 60 yard is equal to 1 mile right so I need to convert kilometer to mile then 1 kilometer is equal to 0 0.6 to 1 371 millimeter right like this the conversion is there now the question <coughs> that is in front of you that is a 12 feet in meters you have to convert this 12 feet into meters right see the 12 feet let me see here how i'll convert this 12 feet right the given is 12 feet so i know uh, mm, uh, first what i'll do uh, i'll convert it this feet right into uh, can, can, could you do this first so that i'll Tell you see the feet you have to convert it <coughs> in meters right so just in the conversion we have seen right 12 inches is equal to 1 feet right so 
first what I have to do this 12 feet I have to convert it that is 12 into into inches I have to convert right so one one feet is equal to 12 inches right so so 12 into 12 right which is equal to 144 inch right so we know one inch is equal to one inch which is equal to 2.54 centimeter or 25.4 millimeter right like this so similarly here I what I will do I will multiply this I will convert this into centimeter that is 2 point or I will convert into millimeter 24.5 right let me do the calculate here just a minute 144 into 25.4 right which is equal to yes the answer is 36 36.57.6 36 37.6 which is in now it is coming in millimeter so they are asking in millimeter so how I will convert this millimeter into C just now we have seen here how to convert in millimeter uh, to meter then so the millimeter to meter I have to convert 1 2 3 I have to multiply uh, or divide by 1000 right so so here I have to convert this that is 3657.6 divided by 1000 right so that, that is I will get 57 right 6 this will be answer so the answer will be this the C will be the answer okay so this is how we will convert from one unit to other units okay uh, so that the assignments will comes in picture right so which is accepted internationally so the large units of the distance right large unit of distance uh, so see sometimes what happen the units are in big large quantities right so the astronomical unit right light year parsec like this like this units are there right so so big units large units you have to convert into uh, see for one astronomical units is equal to 1.495 into 10 raised to 11 meter right so this is how we will convert now see suppose mass I have to convert right so how we will convert the mass that is 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram 1 milligram is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 gram 1 pound is equal to 5 yes 5 34.92 gram 1 quintal equal to 100 kg 1 ton is equal to 1000 kg like right? so the temperature similar way temperature from degree centigrade to Fahrenheit if you have to convert so if Fahrenheit is given you, you need to convert it into degree then what you have to do then put the value of the Fahrenheit is and equate it and you will convert this is a what the formula for that okay now this question I will leave you as a homework okay please solve this very simple question so okay now the next question is that is see these are the derived units okay so the, whatever the, the seven fundamental units we have seen right so from that there are many derived units are there so the for the area c the meter is the fundamental units in this case right so so if i multiply meter into meter then i will get meter square similarly for volume meter into meter into meter is equal to millimeter cube meter cube right for the speed it is a meter per second okay velocity we will see it how with this speed comes velocity comes acceleration okay what that thing will everything will discuss in our upcoming okay the next uh, uh, sub topic will be the speed and the velocity maybe hopefully okay let me see okay now i have to convert micro right in in is which is equal to right so it is answer is c for this see here here i already given okay for the micro in this slide i have described from the micro right everything see here micro where is micro see here micro is 10 raised to minus 6 okay so with the help of that you can easily answer this simple questions so now the area right so so area so if one acre is equal to it is a 10,000 meter square right so one acre is equal to how much yards square yeah this is yards okay 4840 yards right so and uh, and if i convert the volume right
right for the one one cubic meter cubic there is a thousand liters right one gallon is 5.54 4.54 liters one barrel equal to 1.9 gallons right so the question now how you have to convert from 33 pound to into kilogram right so i i already told you that right here so you i request you guys you see uh, where is that area okay the mass right just now we have seen i think right from that you have to convert that and you have to solve this your one okay you have to convert here you have to convert it into 33 pound both see the pound is in different units right it is a fps unit and kilogram is a si unit so this this unit we need to convert into kilogram right this is what our questions about okay please solve this your one okay now speed and velocity okay i think we'll uh, the, uh, in the next section we'll start with speed and velocity right which is also very important so whatever i have discussed in the today's i i i think hope you guys understood which is very helpful and important for the uh, railway exam right so so please watch the lecture till the end don't miss anything okay so in the next class we'll discuss speed and velocity and thanks for watching please like share and subscribe channel okay guys thank you bye